all our indicators are uh, stable or, or even uh, decreasing. Uh, it, it is quite uh, good news for us, knowing that we have been the epicenter of the first wave, and of course, knowing that in a, a, a big city like Montreal, when we have a community transmission, it is often difficult to control. Montreal public health officials bringing a positive note to their COVID-19 press briefing Wednesday, saying the situation in the city is progressing in the right direction. Even though we have more and more variant, the variant representing our, uh, currently 65% of all our new cases, we still have small uh, outbreaks, lots of small outbreaks, but we control them well, and we do not have any events of, of super transmission like we have seen in other uh, cities, for example. Dr. Dehoyne credits this to the increase in vaccinations, more advanced screening of cases and public health measures in place. On Wednesday, Montreal added 294 new cases. Last week, the city saw under 2,000 new cases. Even though it, the, this variance is more can, contagious, we are seeing a reduction in the number of cases of variants. So it is a, demonstrate, it is a demonstration of uh, um, the, the suppressive approach and its efficacy. Uh, our uh, positivity rate uh, at the testing is uh, now oh, around 3%, and uh, we have more than 281 outbreaks. Dr. Dehuang confirming in April, Montreal saw two cases of the B1617 variant from travelers that were isolated, which did not result in community transmission as vaccinations in the city ramp up, surpassing 750,000 doses administered, 98,000 of those in pharmacies. We have attained our goal, uh, the 75% goal for the 60 years old and over, 60 years old population. Uh, but what I'm more impressed about is that we we have, uh, with all the strategies that were put in place by uh, community uh, organization and healthcare teams in the field, uh, we were able, 95% uh, of all neighborhoods in Montreal have attained uh, the goal, the 75% goal. So we have also uh, reduced the uh, inequalities or the disparity that we often see uh, between different neighborhoods. Only only one of the three parameters that we're looking at, which is community transmission, has improved. But the other two parameters, hospitalizations and ICU beds, uh, that we're not out of the woods yet. Currently, 219 people are in hospital in Montreal, 77 of which in ICU. As vaccination progress, the number of people in hospitals and intensive care is slow, slowly going down. But the, the, but the situation, excuse me, in uh, emergency, emergency rooms remains fragile. Public health encouraging all eligible Montrealers to make an appointment for vaccination. And as curfew gets pushed back to 9.30 p.m. as of Monday, May 3rd, to continue to follow public health measures. The message that I want to give to the population is that we need to be together in this suppressive approach again uh, uh, for, for a couple of weeks and for the next two months uh, till we reach uh, um, uh, vaccination coverage that is uh, in a, a community uh, in, uh, immunity. In Montreal, Brynn Enriquez, City News.